Assault and battery third degree charges relate to harming or threatening to harm another person. That's right, in South Carolina, it's still a crime even if you didn't physically touch anyone but threaten to harm them. Hi, my name is Dale Savage and I'm a criminal defense attorney here in Charleston, South Carolina. And today we're going to talk about assault and battery third degree charges here in South Carolina. To establish assault and battery in the third degree, the state has to show that you unlawfully caused an injury to another person or that you threatened to cause injury to another person and had the present ability to do so. It's a misdemeanor offense and you can face up to 30 days in jail and a fine of up to $500. To understand these charges, it's important that you understand the difference between an assault and a battery. A battery is the unlawful touching of another person causing injury. That means you physically actually make contact with someone else. An assault, on the other hand, is the threat of causing that harm and having the present ability to do so, causing reasonable fear in that person, but there was actually no physical contact between you and the victim. There are two common defenses to these types of cases. One is self-defense and the other one is mutual combat. To establish self-defense, you have to show a couple of things. First, you can't be at fault for bringing on the harm. That means that you can't start the fight. Secondly, your response must be reasonable to the danger phase. That means if someone slapped or punched you, you cannot then respond in lethal force and pull out a gun and shoot them. Mutual combat means that both parties agree to engage in the fight. This is often determined by the facts leading up to the fight and whether there was any pre-existing disputes between the two parties. Establishing these defenses means talking to witnesses, reviewing any video if available, and conducting your own investigation. Even if you don't have one of these defenses available to you, it is possible to get these charges dismissed, but a lot's going to depend on the victim and whether they want to still prosecute or whether they're willing to allow you to enter a diversionary program that'll give you the chance to have these um, charges dismissed off your record. So, if you'd like to talk about your assault and battery third degree charge, please give me a call at 843-530-7813. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.